All right, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to do some really crazy stuff on the trumpet. Probably mostly that you wouldn't use in band, but it's still really fun and good to know. It's also stuff that professionals get asked to do uh, in a lot of different situations, so I wanna show you what's in store for you in the future. First, I'm gonna show you a really easy one to do. This is called a trill. Now a trill is basically where you go back and forth between two notes really fast um, and you can do that on the trumpet basically by wiggling your finger, you know. So if you, for instance, play a G open like this and you wiggle your second finger up and down really fast like that, you get a crazy sound like this. And you can do that on any notes that are right next to each other. So, so you get to do all sorts of different uh, fun trills once you figure out all the different fingerings on the trumpet. Another cool thing that you can do on the trumpet is you can make a growling sound. Like if you kind of go in your throat while you play, you get something that sounds kind of like this. And it sounds kind of nuts, you know? So you can use that for effect and different um, phrases that you're playing. So. You know, stuff like that. Um, that sounds uh, really kind of gnarly. Um, another thing that you can do, if you can roll your R's, is you can do something that we call a flutter tongue. And it sounds almost even like a more crazy version of the growl. Check it out. So remember, it's like rolling your R, like that. And you do that into the trumpet, and it sounds like this. You can kind of sound, you know, like this fluttery kind of thing. And if you can take it even a step further, I call this machine gun tonguing. It because when I was a little kid, I used to uh, pretend, you know, playing with machine guns with my friend, going like, like that. If you do that into the trumpet, it kind of sounds like this, which is kind of wild. Um, another cool thing that you can do that you actually might get to do in band someday if you play a tune called Sleigh Ride is you can make a, a horse whinnying kind of sound uh, by pressing the valves about halfway down and shaking the horn on your face where you go. <laughs> That's pretty fun too. Uh, other cool things that you get to use as you get better on the trumpet are things like mutes, like this is a cup mute. Or you get you know, like a straight mute. Kind of sounds like a toy soldier almost. And some other things that you get to get to use um, when you become a really good trumpet player are some really fun other instruments, such as the flugelhorn, which is basically about halfway between a trumpet and a French horn. And it sounds like this. Or you get to use this sort of little trumpet called a piccolo trumpet. And this one sounds nice and high and you often hear it in like older kinds of music like Baroque music. And it sounds all nice and high and light like that. Another thing that you can do on the trumpet that's kind of crazy is you can smear the notes and bend them all around in different ways. Like if you use your embouchure to bend the note, it kind of sounds like this. But you can also slide between notes uh, doing what we call a glissando by pressing the valves about halfway down like we did with the horse when you can go. And clarinet players really hate it when uh, we do this. So 
So there are some fun, crazy things that you can learn to do on the trumpet with not too much difficulty.